our other two guests back around the microphones now. And uh, uh, Dean, uh, as it were, we were you wanted to talk about mental health on the show today. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So um, just one of the things I noticed about all of them, they're uh, a big advocate in promoting mental health mm-hmm. awareness. Mm-hmm. Um, I was really pleased to see that. It's um, it, Mental health awareness is something that I'm, I'm really passionate about. Um, when I was really young, I was diagnosed with Tourette's and ADHD. Oh, okay. And I found performing a way of kind of channeling that energy. Mm-hmm. So any opportunity to get to talk about it, I will because we're trying to move away from mental health being kind of a taboo subject which, oh, we, can't, yes. which we can't talk about um, especially men's mental health um, and anyone that kind of suffers from any sort of mental health I would recommend performing because it's really helped me on a creative side so if anyone's listening that uh, wants to kind of give comedy or magic a go anything like that and have always fancied doing it I, I would strongly recommend it and come down to one of Tony's nights because we'll we'll be able to get you one on Tuesday or a Thursday oh absolutely um sort of I've I've had my share of uh, mental health issues as well and I always felt it um sort of like I feel like you don't want to burden people sort of like sort of like say sort of like my, my mental health issues I was like, oh, I don't know, is, that, is that sort of subject you talk about you know wasn't the kind of things that my my parents or grandparents talked about uh, at all um but yeah um, I saw I was on a beer mat actually in a pub it's like one in four one in four guys or one in four people it may have even been um suffer from mental health issues and you should always ask someone how if they don't look if they don't look okay ask them twice you know sort of like are you okay oh yeah because the norm is to just go oh yeah yeah i'm fine and you might not be because i do that all the time it's like sure. i might be having a horrendous day and then go sort of like that but um i sort of bring erica into the conversation a little bit there um uh, working in the field of comedy as we both do mm-hmm. um i won't name names uh, obviously but yeah we co- we co- come across sort of mental health um in comedy sort of like in fact i'm seeing there was a there was an article i believe wasn't there about uh, sort of like uh, a lot of comedians um sort of having mental health issues what's been your experience of that erica uh i i have uh clinical depression and adhd so i mean i once had to uh cancel a show uh that was a fundraiser for mental health because of my mental, mental health, health. Uh, and the guy did not it, it was ir- pretty ironic because the person looked quite yeah. mad at me I was like all right well yeah you think you would yeah, be yeah, yeah <laughs> it's kind of understandable yeah. as it were as it were but sort of like yeah it's sort of like yeah of, of, of the four people that are currently sat in this room three of them have mental health issues and are currently talking about it sort of like live on air but I think that's a wonderful thing that that, that we're able to do that sort yeah, of like it's, today it's and, a part of life it's normal it, yeah, it is. Um, sort of. I don't know if you ever guys ever had the experience of sort of like maybe like the older generation, um, or you can you can see like my, for example, I've mentioned no names still, but someone in my family has sort of like uh, quite quite bad mental health issues, and you can see how the effect affects everyone everyone around them without everyone going sort of like you know sort of it's all right to say yeah you suffer from this or you suffer from that or that that's it that's part of the human condition you know that that's okay um and yeah my understanding is uh all fm have a wonderful um sort of understanding of uh of mental health issues and sort of like the the um, promotion of the support that they can give throughout the communities that's wonderful uh, dean did you want to weigh in on anything yeah, else yeah i just i just feel like we're, we're making huge strides and i think it's really good that we can sit here and talk about this openly um mm-hmm. i try to talk to my friends about it it's, it's difficult isn't it to talk about kind of mental health in general yeah but we should should be doing that and i'm really pleased that all of them are, uh, are really behind this now it's yeah it's it's cracking and uh so yeah sort of like kind uh, of we got a little bit serious there we're sort of uh, obviously an entertainment forum but sort of, sort of given the opportunity um to talk about it and it's wonderful um sort of like so yeah if uh it, my i'm sure that we can all say that sort of like oh erica actually throwing the podium over to you again once one more time um how do you feel sort of like performing helps w- with your mental health issues Sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a fair point. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes I'll go on stage and uh, I'll end up feeling worse. But also it's like, it, I don't know, it gives you a sense of purpose and like you're doing something. Mm-hmm. Um, but, I mean, it can also, like, aggravate, like, yeah, certain, I, like, I, I, I mean, anxiety issues that I have mm-hmm. that uh, get brought up. But I, I don't know. It's It helps and sometimes it, it feels like it... it doesn't it's certainly what helps the most is to have an outlet for oh, absolutely. for it and i think that's what uh you know why, why I, w- I would encourage people to do any type of art yeah, excellent yeah. um yeah so if I, and I, I take it that's been your experience as well dean yeah yeah absolutely so i was going to ask erica so do you um would you use it as part of your material 
Do you I'll, think it's okay to joke about that kind of would you? Yeah, I have quite a yeah. <laughs> I have quite a few uh, jokes about it. Um, yeah, I mean, um, no yeah. subjects off the. You can no subjects kind of off the chart. We can just discuss anything, joke about anything, that type of thing. Yeah, yeah. For me, I, I think yeah. I personally do. I mean, I have like quite dark jokes about about mental health and even lighter ones too. Um, I think it needs to be talked about, whether it's in a sort of like a, a, a joke or sort of like a, a sure. part of a comedy yeah. performance or mm-hmm. like, as long as it's sort of spoken about. Because I think that's the point. It was kind of just like behind closed doors. Yeah. So be, in the Victorian times, you know, sort of like people would be like incarcerated and have horrendous treatment, you know, because of mental health issues and things like that. But sort of like, yeah, if um, sort of like, like, is anyone out there who uh, has mental health issues but has, has been worried about getting out and performing as well? Please feel free to, to contact us. Um, sort of like whether that's in the realm of comedy, magic, music, poetry, or anything in between. Um, why don't you sort of like get, get, give me a call? Uh, I'll give my, I'll put my phone number up on the uh, All FM website, or uh, you can contact me directly. Um, Tuesday Tony William Bolton on Facebook. And yeah, if you'd like to come perform, we can definitely see if we can sort out a platform for you. Yeah, I'd, I'd really like that. Um, but yeah. I tell you what, it's all got a bit serious there for a second. So we're going to 